Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 11 through 12, and it goes like this. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Verse 12 says, But, O Lord of hosts, that triest the righteous, and seest the reins and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Poor old Jeremiah, he got himself in a tight one. Everybody was after him. They was trying to take him out. And I'm sure you and I have felt the same way many times. But you know, Jeremiah knew who he served. He knew who the Lord was. He knew who was his protector. Uh, so, you know, he, he had no fear. So he cried out to the Lord, and uh, who else could rescue him? No one, no one. You know, and today we have similar circumstances. Uh, many has come so burdensome, uh, you know, just, just oh, filled with, with hurt and pain. Their spirits just want to crumble. And yet, maybe you today. It seems like there's no hope, absolutely no hope whatsoever. There are many that are in deep despair because of things that's going on and happening and you know around them and in this old nasty world that we live in. Many turn to drugs and alcohol. Many consider taking their lives. They tend to lash out at those who want to help. Have you noticed that? Yeah. They grow darker and darker in despair. But today, I, I want to assure you that there is hope. You can find hope today. In all of your troubles, there's hope to be found. There's someone who cares for you. And when the whole world's against you, there's always someone that cares for you. There's someone who loves you, even when you're unlovable. And boy, I've been that way so many times. There's someone who went as far as dying for you, so your soul wouldn't go to hell. It wouldn't be lost. There's someone who's waiting just to hear you cry out to him. He can rescue you. There's someone who will never leave nor forsake you. Although your family and sometimes your friends, they may leave you. They may just hang you out to dry. But the one I'm talking about will never do that. The one I'm talking about is Jesus. Jesus. He's our only hope. He is our only hope. He's the only one that we can turn to in times of trouble, in times of sorrow, in times that we need rescued is Jesus. No one will ever, ever love you as much as Jesus loves you. You know, he died on the cross for you. That takes a lot of love, don't you imagine? Jesus said in Matthew eleven thirty, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's very simple. To become a child of God. Yes, very simple. You just have to sincerely get on your knees and ask him to come into your heart. 
to take away all the sins and uh, is clothe you with righteousness. And you know, he's waiting. He is still just waiting to hear your heart's cry. Yeah, he is. He loves you. He loves you. He wants you to love him also. You know, John 3, 6, uh, John 3, 15 and 16 says that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The psalmist, he wrote, in uh, Psalm 73, verse 26, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion, my portion forever. I tell you what, he'll stick close to you if all we got to do is ask him to come into our heart. Well, I hope that if you don't know Jesus today, that you will find him today, that you'll ask him to come in and be the king of kings and lord of lords of your life. Turn the steering wheel over to him. Turn the reins of your life over to him and watch and see how you will grow in the happiness and the joy that will flow out that you haven't experienced never before in your life. You see, only Jesus Christ can bring that joy to you. Well, this morning, I hope you got something out of this. I truly do. And if you feel it worthy, share it. Share it with your friends. Maybe, just maybe, they may find their way to Jesus. I love you. Jesus loves you. That's the important one. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.